What's going on guys? Welcome back to the challenge. Your host with the most Tomboy Double and you're currently watching Tomboy TV. You guessed it and today we are here to talk about some supreme pieces and whether you should hold them, sell now, and what's your best bet to maximize your financial gains and profits. God's plan. God's plan. Damn. Welcome back to the investment class. Uh, that's exactly what it is though. Basically like commodities or stocks in the actual stock market itself. If you guys do invest, you guys would know, but I do a little bit of investing, which is also great to do on the side. Turn off, turn the supreme profit into some more profit, hopefully into the actual like New York Stock Exchange, for example, if you guys are interested in that. But anyways, that's a whole nother story. But today we are here to talk about some supreme pieces, some clothing, some, some accessories from the actual drop of week one slash zero of Supreme SS19. Because, you know, I normally do this after every single drop, uh, whether hold or sell now, what's your best bet, where you should sell these pieces, where you can maximize your profits, because certain platforms do have higher prices. For example, say you want to do consignment and you do consignment at like Flight Club or Stadium Goods. I know that's only available to New York City people or people in LA, but essentially that's the best bet for a lot of sneakers because people over there will pay the high for a lot of the items. Like say Off-White Nike, they go for like $300 more than on StockX or Grailed or Instagram at Stadium Goods or Flight Club. Of course, you have to be patient for the sale. You have to wait a bit, but you will get like crazy. Like I know some people who put a static uh, 700s in there boom, they made more than $150 off what StockX is right now. You know, you can't always go by StockX. StockX is not the only indicator of what the market is going for because there's so many other platforms, there's so many other places that sell. It's just not the only way to do it. And there's always that other people that will pay higher than other people uh, just the way that they don't care. A, they don't care about the money or B, they just want the item as soon as possible. They don't feel like waiting for StockX to actually send the item because now they got the 12 day shipping, which makes it even longer and even more wait time the wait time is massive now 12 days for them the seller to ship plus it takes about two days to get to the warehouse depending where you live i know for me it takes one day because i live uh, right next to jersey that's where i unload all my bricks but it takes one day for me it was sometimes three days for other people then they have to ship it out to the buyer so it takes about 18 days ish give or take a few days to actually get to the end consumer uh, who actually per pressed the purchase button on StockX, which is terrible. That's like two and a half weeks of wait time. I mean, that, if you don't care about wait time, that's all on you. But uh, I know I personally would not want to wait on an item that long. And then say it goes, uh, say it doesn't pass a verification, they have to ship it back and you wait. You basically gave a loan for no absolute reason. But enough of that. We're going to get into some of the items that dropped. So first of all, I do want to talk about the King of New York tea. I'll move over a bit, put it up right here. Uh, essentially, it was going for very, very small amount of money like it was a brick it was a brick at first however it is going up especially in the black colorway the other colorways are not doing as well at all but they are going up you know the, basically what happened what i think is people had a bunch of stock they're like yo everyone's gonna start undercutting on stock so i gotta undercut as well and sell 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 that's what happens, man. Everyone sold all their stuff. The people who will care about making the quick, easy profit right away, the very minuscule profit because the market went crazy down on a lot of these pieces. People were selling t-shirts for $60 on Instagram, $70 for the King of New York tea on Instagram, and then it all just went down. But now since supply is a little bit less, the pool of people who actually have their items is a little bit less, Prices are just going to start going up because the people who want the items now are going to have to pay a little higher because people don't want to let it go for as low. So, of course, it depends on the size, but uh, the size smalls are always going to be doing the best. If you guys ever do have the option of copping a small, which I know was relatively not too difficult if you don't have any lag. If you want on mobile, it was actually pretty easy to get a small. Uh, depending on t-shirt, of course, like the uh, long sleeve tee was easy to get via small. The kids tee was easy to get via small. King of New York tea wasn't that easy to get via small, but black colorway is doing the best. I would hold this item. I mean, it is the kind of like the photo tee. People said it's the photo tee. Like, yo, what are you talking about? I do not see this being a photo tee at all. It's just the it's just from the poster of the King of New York movie by Christopher Walken. In Christopher Walken, the actor. But if you guys haven't seen this, I definitely recommend it. But they're just gonna keep going up over time. Eventually, they will dip down after the hype dies. But I will wait till summer tees, because once summer comes around, t-shirts are gonna be worth even more. Because that's when everyone's like, yo, I need to cop some summer drip. For this summer because I need to get this drippy short sleeve shirts on because it's hot in most places So most people are gonna want to buy it But next move on to the creeper tee black and white of course for every single so that's what I always say in all my retail resale estimation videos Black and white is the best colorway to go for because it's the safest bet who wouldn't want a black or white I mean of course black is higher because it's less likely to get dirty So that's what people care about but nonetheless yo if you got a black or white one you're playing it safe and that's perfect Oh, uh, but then we go on to the metal holster 
basically around the same price it's always been give or take a few dollars like 10-ish dollars uh, if you want to sell now you can go ahead i don't see it going up crazy anytime soon either now we go on to the kids tea which i am pissed about because if you guys haven't seen my in-store vlog of me picking up these items the dsm employee forgot to give me my goddamn kids tea bro he just and my king of new york tea but you know i went back you know you're not supposed to go back once you leave the t-shirt area uh i left and i was like wait yo where's my king of new york tea and he he gave me troubles he ended up giving it to me but then i realized at the end where the hell is my kids tea bro and they forgot that shit too so i was like whatever man it's it, it's it's over but uh yeah that one's going up of course i don't see the value behind this design it's going for a lot more than a lot of the other teas probably second highest reselling tea after the king of new york it just says i love satan with kids drawn i don't see the hype behind it but you know people are paying the high for it so i would definitely go for it because it is about to reach the same price it was reaching on drop day on drop day it didn't even reach that much money but it's going back up to the same worth so if you guys got it i would hold it for a little bit and then sell eventually i of course what i always say wait till it gets a little bit warmer out for a lot of people because that's when more people want teas the demand will go up but then we got the sigg s-i-g-g bottle uh it went down a bit a little bit but uh it's going for around 60 dollars right now uh, I don't see it going up for any crazy value because I have the bottle right here from last season and it's not doing worth anything. And it does have, at least in my opinion, what I see, this one does have better branding than the one from this season uh, because it just has that all down print. The one from this season is actually downstairs in my basement still, but it does only doesn't have like bright branding. It does have that embossed look into it, which means that a lot of people would rather have this one because it does have bigger branding, but also... Sorry if I'm talking too fast, but the other one also does have a bigger capacity. It does have bigger volume, so therefore a lot more people will want it. Uh, but then we got the letter and the swan tea. I got the black one. Yes, sir. And the large. Of course, by the way, if you guys want to buy my items, they're for sale at Tommy's Taylor on Instagram. That's where I sell the majority of my items. And if you guys don't have an Instagram page, I would definitely, definitely recommend getting one or making one. It does take a lot of time and a lot of consistency, a lot of steals to get more and more followers on it because there are a lot of pages out there. But if you guys do work a little bit hard, stay consistent with it. DM me, of course, if you guys want some good hashtags for Instagram here and there. I made a long time ago video about how to grow your Instagram. Uh, so I would check that out as well because I do have good hashtags that help me gain a lot of exposure, which I have about like 12K followers, which I'm super grateful for. Not on some cocky shit once again, but you know, it just, it shows that over time it will gain traction and it will work out but next up we'll move on to the floral skate decks and the demand is actually pretty high it's just a lot of, i personally myself i'm not selling mine because i'm trying to hold it and i actually put it up in my room eventually when i do get my own place but a lot of people are interested in this especially via instagram a lot of people be damning me about it shows that the demand is there but it's still going for 90 dollars. it did go down a good amount it's going for like 120 on drop day uh week zero drop day which is in store only not if you were online but i don't see, i see these going up a little bit but nothing crazy but again once again if these dropped like three or four years ago or even longer ago to present day, they'd be going for like $300, which is wild. But I don't think they're ever going to reach this much in the future because Supreme stock is getting a bit higher. But once again, this item has sold out most likely in store as well. There might be a few left in store here and there, but online it's definitely gone. So it's people's chance of actually copping are completely over. Then we got the ultimate formula crew neck and I would hold this piece, bro. If I had it myself, of course, this is all up to you. Viewer discretion is advised, whatever you guys decide to do. But the floral... uh. Not the floral, but the formula crew neck, especially in the natural colorway, is just going to keep going up, man. Demand is high as hell. I don't see demand ever dying out for this item because it is the item, bro. It's the item of week one. It is the most hyped one. It's going for like $450. And I said that from the get-go, that this is going to be the most hyped item to go for. It doesn't matter about upvotes, unlike, dislike. All right, guys, anyways, as I was saying, I apologize for interruption, but, you know, once again, I ran out of memory on the card, but the Formula Cronex holds for sure, especially in the natural colorway. The blue, the red, and the black, I think, is the other colorway that I dropped in are not doing crazy good, especially not as good as natural, but you're still making bread as coarse of as well as the sweatpants. Sweatpants, if you got if you got the natural set together, hold that for sure, but I'm sure there's only very few people out there who actually have it. Uh, but if you do have the black, blue, or natural, or red, I'll hold it eventually over time it will go up, but it will go down eventually as summer comes because it is summer and not a lot of people will worry about purchasing crew necks, so prices will go down just a bit. But once again, once the, spring, once the fall and the winter season comes along, it's just going to go back up. And then next up, we move on to the waste bags. The waste bags I luckily sold on my page at Tommy's Taylor. They are going down. You know, bags are a different story now. Ever since last season, the bags, I still have mine over here from actually a few seasons ago. Not a few seasons ago. This was actually from last season. I do have these. I got one here, one here, 
and another one right here. I mean, these are worth a little bit more than what I paid, but these basically are bricking. These are the waste, yeah, they're both waste bags, blue, uh, no, not blue, black, purple, and red, right over there, and the utility bag. They're not worth as much as what SS18 bags go for. And then in my opinion, SS18 bags are also better overall. The design is just a lot more cleaner. Looks like they tried a bit more. The rest of them just look a little lazy. I mean, this season does have that embossed look into it, but it still like doesn't bring that much value. It does look like another normal ass waist bag with just a supreme little box logo on it. Going for around $115 each, $110. Uh, I would definitely recommend signing this through Instagram because of the fact after fees on StockX, you're going to get a lot less money. But if you're able to get through uh, uh, Instagram, through PayPal, and you add shipping, like the buyers ended up paying like, what, $130 for this? Uh, actually, depending on tax and situation, shipping's what, $14. they are going for $110, $124. Uh, you could charge $125 for the bag, and you're going to make more money than you are off StockX because I would definitely not recommend selling this item on StockX because you're going to get basically retail or under retail for whatever you paid uh just you know it makes more sense to go through paypal no offense to all the StockX users out there but then we go on to the shoulder bags i like the shoulder bags more than any bag this season uh but the consumers don't think so that much it's basically going for the same price they retail for the same reselling for the same the same thing goes for them i wouldn't hold though i wouldn't really recommend holding them because for the 10 15 dollars more you're going to end up getting or maybe even 30 it, you can turn this prof, like this money back. Just get your money back at least, or make a little bit profit on top. I mean, I never take, I never recommend taking it out or going under retail because that's just the way I think. And because of that, I just never sell under retail, uh, just the way it is for me because my time is worth more than losing money. But then we got the fruit tea, which is not gonna be worth that much into the future either. Uh, black colorway, it was the best to go for, but uh, all the other colorways are not doing too well. Regardless, so we got the long sleeve tee going for around $65 to $70, depending on size and color. Uh, I would sell that ish now. Uh, but if, if during, I think during the summer season, it will go up as well because a lot of people want just like a t-shirt on top or during the spring or fall season, they will go up as well because most of the time to leave the house, at least where I live, you just need a long sleeve t-shirt. But I'm definitely keeping in mind because I definitely need a long sleeve. It was $40, $2 more than a short sleeve t-shirt. Makes more sense just to keep and rock. Then we got the dish towels going for 55 But of course, the end consumer is paying, what, $70 essentially at the end of it for this item. So why not just ask on pay on Instagram, $70 PayPal invoice, boom. You're making more than StockX highest bid or lowest ask. Just makes more sense in the end. Patrick acting jacket. Going up, bro. Going up like crazy. I think it's going to keep going up as well. When I went in store at DSM, they didn't have this item. Organizer pouch. Not worth that much either. It, oh, <laughs> it's worth under retail if you had to pay for shipping, unfortunately. I mean, when I say what it's worth, that's going by StockX numbers and by Grail numbers. And what I see most of the time on Instagram, that's what I see people who are just trying to get rid of the item. They're like, yo, whatever, I'll take this loss. I don't recommend doing that way, but you know, you can do you and you decide at the end. It's all up to you. But then the rest of it is basically just kind of like your beanies. You can decide what you want to do. Beanies are not going to be worth $100 in the future, especially these. They will go up to probably $75. Uh, and during the winter season, they will go up too. The upcoming winter season, winter is almost over, hopefully, at least for New Jersey, because this winter season is absolute trash. But yeah, that's about it. The whole main hold items I would recommend is the crew necks, the formula crew necks, the uh, patchwork characting stuff, the uh, King of New York tees. And honestly, that's about it. But King of New York tees, if you do have like a wacky colorway, like orange, yellow, or whatever. If you have black or white, I would recommend holding that one. Even though the white one sweat for a little bit more than the black. Well, actually, a lot more than the black, the black one. Because black one was most hyped. Did sell it the quickest. But yeah, that's my two cents on this whole issue. Uh, not really an issue, but you know, two cents on all these items that you got. Let me know what you guys were able to successfully cop down below. That's about it for your host with the most. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Tomorrow... I have no idea what video we're coming out with, but you know, my creative mind is going to get with it. And of course, by the way, I forgot to mention at the beginning, if you guys do want to join this fire-ass Discord, I do talk about, like, I don't really get in it as much as I would like to. I'm definitely going to try to be more active in it, but I do have a lot of mods who do got early links, uh, how to cop guides, raffle links. Uh, we got eBay view bot monitor. We got a label plug. We got a... Uh, we do got... We're working on Supreme monitors at the moment, but we also do have... Oh, we do got trivia, uh, trivia bots. Crazy, bro. We're coming up. Tom Boy TV Discord. Just join it. Send me a screenshot if you subscribe to this channel right down here. Uh, to my Instagram, at HypeNJ. And you're in it to win it. And we're going to be cooking up this whole entire season. So, anyways, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.